Green Hornets were looking for win number six on Friday night against Stroudsburg and would waste no time dominating the gridiron. After forcing a three and out, Emmaus got to work. Quarterback Jake Foda, who threw for 162 yards last week, would again find success in his aerial attack. The senior's first touchdown of the night would go 25 yards to his brother Chase Foda as the Green Hornets were able to score on every possession in the first quarter and keep Stroudsburg at bay. They wouldn't earn a first down the entire first quarter as Emmaus kept finding the end zone. Tyleek Jarvis would make it 14-0 home team with a 21-yard rushing TD that before teammate Jackson Lake scored from six yards out to lead 21 zip after one. In the second quarter, Jarvis would take the handoff from Foda, appears to be tackled, but nope, he breaks free of the tackle and sprints into the end zone for a 33-yard touchdown. Stroudsburg had a chance in the second, forcing a fumble, but would again go three and out before Foda found Foda again, this time for 38 yards and a 35 to nothing advantage. Stroudsburg would eventually score, but Emmaus was just too much to handle. Foda would punch one in himself from 18 yards out before sending it to the half up 45 to seven and letting some of the backups finish the job. Emmaus defeats Stroudsburg with a final score of 51 to 14. Coaches put up a great scheme and we just followed each week. Uh, we did a great job. Every player just watching film. Uh, I know I watched like two and a half to two hours of film and uh, I just took advantage of their coverage. They would man up uh, most of the time and I'd take shots down the field. Emmaus has been racking up the points on offense, scoring 163 in their last three games. The only problem with that is that this team cannot get complacent with the Liberty Hurricanes coming up next week and then the Nazareth Blue Eagles in week eight. These guys have been doing a really great job of taking it one week at a time. As, as we get going here towards the end uh, of the regular season, it's got to be even more, you know, tight and locked in. So, so far, they've been doing a really good job. At EPSD Stadium, I'm Gwen Begley for the Service Electric Network.